at least 21 Indian students who are reportedly reported in a single day from the United States raising worries about visa-related issues. The incidents reportedly occurred at Chicago, Atlanta and San Francisco airports. Many of these students from Andhra Pradesh and Telangana had completed their visa procedures and arrived in the United States with the intention of pursuing higher education. According to reports in Deccan Herald, these students were detained for a short period of time after immigration agents thoroughly checked their documents. Students expressed their confusion, claiming that they had met all of the conditions for their visas and were ready to start their classes in their respective colleges. Reportedly, the students claimed that they were not provided appropriate information on why they were sent back and suspected it had something to do with their visa papers. Students reportedly claimed they were told to leave peacefully. Some claimed that the common universities to which they were on their way included those in Missouri and South Dakota, reports added. Deportation repercussions have reportedly left students coping not only with the loss of time, finances and future opportunities, but also with the distressing implications of severe US regulations. The five-year prohibition imposed on those judged inadmissible following deportation is particularly noteworthy. Due to COVID-19, the United States has implemented stricter visa rules for international students, potentially compelling Indian and Chinese students to return home or face deportation. Reports note that these laws prevent students from completing their education online in response to concerns about quality and economic implications. Any time that a student does not meet those four conditions, they may uh, be turned around at the border, their visa can be revoked, or the school can ask that they be uh, deported from the United States. So whatever, whatever happens, whether it happens at the border, whether their visa is refused here, whether the school determines that they're not a valid student, it's based on those four conditions and done as part of this checks and balances that happens for every student throughout the process. The Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh has reportedly adopted a strong attitude towards solving the troubling issue of Indian students facing the risk of deportation from the United States. Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy has inquired about sending back some Telugu students from America. Reddy is looking into this matter and will address it to the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India for resolving this as soon as possible because all students have a valid US visa for higher studies. And also keeping in mind the careers of these AP students, Andhra Pradesh non-resident Telugu Society said in a statement. Furthermore, the state government urged students to be prepared to answer any questions from the American officials as well as to bring proof of finances and other relevant documents such as understanding non-immigrant visa laws and learning about the university and course while traveling to other countries for study abroad plans, reports added.